Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday everybody. It's Dollar Tree Day. I did get out to the Dollar Tree this morning and found a bunch of goodies and I thought I'd share it with you guys here this afternoon. I'll start with the only food item that I got is this uh, Honey Nut Chex Mix. I can't wait to try this. It's sweet and salty and this is a 12 ounce, no it isn't, I'm lying. This is an eight and three quarter ounce bag. Um, it's quite a lot in here, actually. And I thought that was a good deal for a dollar, so I want to give that a try. I've never tried the uh, honey nut one, and I do love anything honey nuts, so I'm sure they will be wonderful. And then we'll go through the blase stuff here first. Not blase, but you know what I mean, the necessities. I picked up a pack of 150 uh, napkins. Um, I mean, these are, you know, not real thick napkins, but you know what, you're just going to throw them in the garbage anyway, so these are fine to keep out in the kitchen for just everyday use. So, they're pretty good. I've gotten them before. And then I picked up another uh, spray bottle of the Wine Breeze. This is the Glade. Um, it says up to seven hours of freshness, but we shall see about that. I do love this scent. This is a really nice scent, and I love keeping these in my bathroom because, well, you know. And then I picked up a pack of these Q-tips. These I like to use in my craft room. They're a little bit, they've been kind of easy, um, but they're not too bad. I mean, you get 300 in here for a dollar, so that's a pretty good deal, too. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I picked up another 48-ounce um, container of the Comet with bleach. I love this stuff to use in my bathroom with toilets and stuff. It works really great. So I got that because I was almost out, and then I picked up <clears throat> two more packs of the Coast Soap, and this is a pretty good deal. I mean, I compared it to in my grocery store, so it's not a bad deal for a dollar a piece for these. You get two bars, and I love the Coast. It lathers up so nice and just smells really fresh, so I grabbed two more packs of them, and then I think that is all the necessity things that I got. The rest of it, you know how that goes, is not. They have a lot, a lot, a lot of back to school stuff out already. I know summer just started, but I did grab these containers. I think these are awesome, and I actually think I'm going to go back and get a whole bunch more before they're gone. Um, these are, the, they're called Jot, the Jot Brand Desk Organizers. Um, let me pop this open. I already have a couple put together. I should just show you those, but here we go. These are awesome. I'm going to use these for like all kinds of little embellishments and buttons and you know little things that I have here in my craft room to organize and I think this is going to be absolutely wonderful. You can take the top off of here for this one and then this bottom one unscrews that you can store something in and what I love 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 about these is you can put them together. So you could stack this up as high as you wanted to and have different little embellishments or whatever inside of here. So I have two of them now. I got purple and I got pink and you won't need the second lid, but I figured this will be a great space saver. I could just stack these up as high as I want them to go and just tuck them away here on my other shelf. So I do want to go back and get some more of those before they're gone. And I don't know if they've ever had these before. I've never seen them at any of my Dollar Trees. so. Yeah, I think that is great. And then I picked up this little magnetic, um, so it says magnetic holder. It's for like in a locker or something, but I actually want this on the side of my refrigerator where I have my notepad that I hang there, excuse me, um, where I write my shopping list and stuff on. And I figured this would be great just to throw a couple of pens and things in there. And um, so that's why I picked this up. And they had them in a bunch of different colors. And then I picked up a couple composition books. I just thought these were so cute, and I love having these around just to jot stuff down or scribble stuff on, whatever. And I got this one I thought was so cute. It's got pizzas and ice cream and hot dogs on it. And um, it has 100 sheets of paper in there. And then I picked this one up with all the different little coffees and donuts on them. I thought those were so cute. And then, of course, I, I am such a notebook junkie. I got the little ones that match with the paper in it. And I thought these would be great to write something down, rip it off when I'm heading to the craft store or whatever. 
And then that this one goes with the coffee one. I thought he was so cute. And uh, these have 180 sheets of paper in there. So I thought they were adorable. And of course they would be great for back to school. I don't have anyone going back to school, but I did get those for myself. And then I picked up this cute eraser. I love white erasers for like when I'm using my colored pencils and things because it doesn't leave any kind of a mark when you want to erase a little boo-boo. And I thought this was so cute, this little unicorn. So I grabbed that. I forget what else they had. I did take a few pictures that I'm going to put at the end. I didn't take too many because I didn't see a ton of stuff new besides school supplies. And I picked up a pack of the 10 Bic pens. I like these a lot. These are the um, medium and they write in black. And I buy these all the time. I have no idea where they go, but they just keep disappearing on me. I end up, I put them all in the container and everybody uses them and I never see them again. And I also found some of the Sharpies. Um, I like these extra fine, this is actually the ultra fine points for, um, you know, doing little details on crafting things, like with my stamp sometimes, if it doesn't, you know, quite stamp right, I use these on that to fix it or whatever. And I just like these, so I grabbed two of them while I have them. I love when they stock up. Now, I've never seen this at my Dollar Tree. I always find the, um, I don't even see one that I have. Excuse my arm. They always have this, the white glue, and I've got a bunch of those that I use, and I've never seen it in the clear glue. I thought this will be great for some card making and things. So I'm going to give this a try. I've never tried it. Like I said, I've never seen it in my Dollar Tree. I think they have it out for the school supplies now, so if it works really good, I might just go back and get some more of that. And then I also never seen this either, is the multi-purpose spray adhesive in a little pump spray. <clears throat> They've always had the little small cans like the aerosol or whatever. I did have one here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, I think this is it. Yeah, this was it, the multi-purpose adhesive spray in the aerosol. Um, and that works pretty good. So this would be great. And this is the Beacon brand. It's a name brand. So I'm going to give this a try. And it says it works on paper, wood, cardboard, and more. So we'll see how that works out. And then I grabbed two of the little calculators that they have. Let me open this one up. But they're really cute. I don't think this just pops open. Let me cut it open here. And they look like metal. I don't know if they are metal. Yeah, this does feel like a, a metal. And it has a little covering on it you can peel off. So let's see. I'm pretty sure it is. Of course, I can't get it off right now. There we go. Oh, these are really shiny and really nice when you peel off this covering. Yeah, this is a metal front to it. They also had the scientific calculators. I've never tried the calculators from the Dollar Tree, so I don't know how well they work, so I'm not going to tell you to run out and buy yourself a scientific calculator. But these work really good. So, you know, we do 5 plus. There you go. And they're really bright. The numbers show up really nice. So I grabbed a couple of them because I just like to have these laying around. I'm always looking for one. I know I have one on my phone, but half the time I don't even know where that is. And uh, let's see what I found this bag, this tote bag. I thought this was so pretty. And of course, like my luck always is, it was the only one they had. And I love these. I love these ones when I go to all these and stuff. I always take a bunch of these with me. I have a bunch that I got there before in a different pattern. And I've been using them for years. They hold up really, really well. And I thought this one was just so pretty with the butterflies and stuff. So I hope I can find some more of these. Because some of my other ones are getting a little, you know scraggly looking. I just wanted to replace a couple. And I picked up a couple of more. These aren't new. They've had these for years. These are the Jot Magnetic Tins. They have this size and then they have a smaller size. Um, these are great for little things, but I kind of want to do a little crafty project with these. It has this nice big magnet on the back. So I got two of those and these are always in with like the um, office supply stuff. They usually have them all year round. And then I saw these cute um, cupcake holders, and I thought these would be great to do some crafting with, making some little flowers and such. And they had this print here, and you get 35 pieces, it says. You get quite a few in here. 
and I'm sure they're just great for cupcakes too, but I see them as crafting stuff. And here this one has like little bees on it and flowers. I just thought these were so pretty. And they're the, they're the two inch baking cups. And then this one has butterflies and flowers on it. This was the only three patterns that I seen that my Dollar Tree had. And then I grabbed a whole bunch more of this while I had it. And this is the Baker's Twine. And I had it all these colors. And I used up a lot of what I had. I just got some of this not too long ago, but I've already used it up. I love doing stuff with these, making little flowers or whatever with them. So I grabbed three more packs of them. And I got myself another clear tray, because I used my other one for a DIY the other day that I did with my little chocolate saying on it. And this one's a little bit different. I think it's a little bit bigger, too. So I don't know. I'm going to do something cute with this one, too. And I love these because if you like paint the back of them, you can still see the pattern through it and they actually look like a nice glass tray. So I grabbed that one and then I got these, um, this is the only sticker related thing I got. And these are actually the wall stickers that they have at the Dollar Tree. These are called poster stickers. And I haven't seen this one there before. And they did have some that were like lowercase and uppercase, but the size was just so off on them that they wouldn't have gone together very well, so I didn't pick those up. But I did like these a lot, and they're not like a giant size or anything. I think the letters are like, yeah, they're like two inches. They're just like two inch letters, so these would be cute to put onto something. We shall see. I don't know what yet, but I figure I better grab them while I see them. All right, now the last thing I got here, I know people don't want to talk about fall yet, Neither do I, really, but I tend to grab things that I see. Oh, sorry, I still have this in the bag. I thought it was going to come out real easy, and it's not. <clears throat> Let me get these out of the bag. Okay, so I picked up... These are the Mini Mums. Um, they have these every year, but for some reason these go really quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have a hard time finding them, so I grabbed two bushes of each color. I got that one. Oh, come on. Everything's stuck in there. but crammed them all in one bag. And then I got this little bit darker color. And I love these for doing little centerpieces and decorations and stuff for the fall. And then I got, this is more of an orangey, orangey yellow color. And then they have this real deep, like, burgundy color. So I grabbed two of each of them while they're still there and I don't have to go on a hunt like I did last year. I'm not going to be using them yet though guys, don't worry, we're not doing fall crafts quite yet, but I do want to stock up while they have them. Now these I don't think are going to be around very long either. They have all these like little picks and you guys know I like to just pull these all apart and use all the different pieces on crafting projects and I thought these are really pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on in my throat here today. It must be really high allergy day or something. But these are really pretty. These little big sunflowers. And they all just say fall pick on them. I got that one. I got two. Well, I bought two of each. I was afraid if I didn't, you know. And then I got two with the pumpkins. And these will be great in some little centerpieces of stuff. I just pop those off of there and use them. And let's see, these have like the green gourds on them. And these are really cute. I really like these a lot. So I got two of those. And uh, what is this one? Yeah, well, I guess I got three of those other ones. I thought I only got two, but I have three with the pumpkins. But that's okay, we'll use them up. And then this one I thought was real pretty with the pine cones on it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they all just say fall pick. They don't have any specific name for each one. But I thought these were so pretty. And they have the little sticks in there that you could use in an arrangement. I mean, you just pop these apart, or you can use them as one piece. But I usually end up popping them apart and using each little piece for something. So that is it. That is all I got for my Dollar Tree haul this week. I thought I found some really great stuff. Um, they had a lot of new things out. And like I said, I did take a couple pictures I'll put at the end. I don't even remember what they were now. But, yeah. So things are looking up at the Dollar Tree. 
<laughs> so thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.